Yo everyone, welcome. Spiky Barmy Army. We're going live. Football Manager 23. Trying something different here. Maidstone United. There we are returning. Uh, real life like players that Maidstone had last season. Um, so we're going to see what we can do. And we've got a possibility of choosing one of these three players to come in and join our squad for the start of the National League. So we've got Kieran Edwards from Boston, Will James from Fylde, or Marcus Lynching from Dulwich Hamlet. So at the moment, welcome anyway to the new game. Uh, right, so we, we did get off to a winning start, which I expected to do anyway in the previous game. That's only the first game, it's the reserve team. Maidstone played the reserves of Maidstone. We got a 4-1 win and now we're building up to a game at home at the Gallagher against Southampton reserves. So just running through some tactics and actions and stuff uh, before we get deep into the game. So we've got this come up here. So I'm kind of thinking it would be good. We've got Barham in the middle up front. Um, they all did pretty well, actually, the players that we did. Gandor took place of Barham. He came on as a sub. Got a couple of goals. Um, yeah, so we've got uh, one Jail Smith out on the left wing. We're playing like five across the back in a staggered formation. And then like a two and a three. So we're playing like wingers and mid a striker in the middle. Um, three across the midfield, staggered. And then five across the back, or two in the midfield, staggered. And then five across the back with wing backs. So, although Kieran Edwards would be a good to bring him in on a free, um, he would dare be. We've he got Gavin Hoyt there as a captain. He's playing like a wing back at the moment. Um, not really his position, but we've got him in in the positions that they know they're familiar with. So, but I think we're more likely could do with an extra we've got enough players really at the moment up front uh although we could do with more and we could also do with more midfielders uh so i'm thinking at the moment that we could go for will james mason are gonna pay all the costs full cost and we've got a choice of these three now Guy from Will James from ARC Fylde, I think, would be a good good addition to mid midfield so we can bring him like slightly forward to the other midfielders like Corn and Booty and bring him slightly forward of them. Or Marcus Lynch that would be like replacing coming off the bench and replacing obviously Barham. But then you've got Gandor, we've got Josh Riley in there, we've got um, Christy Patlow, he plays out on the left wing anyway. So we've got a couple there. If we can bring this midfielder, maybe there's someone then like a Fuali or someone we could sell and move on. Uh, some players to sell, a couple. So I'm kind of thinking, let's go for Will James. Um, let's sign him as attacking midfielder. Um, and see how we go. 70k now. Jack, hello, bro. How's it going? Yeah, I had a good week. Good weekend. Really, really wet and rainy today, though. Um, so it was a little bit of sunshine first thing this morning, and it's just rained the whole day since. Full cloud cover. So we're going to go for Will James here. We're going to sign him on. <coughs> and obviously the guy here is going to run us through how are you do all the wages and scout or not and bring him into the club. So we're going to go for Will James attacking midfielders to come into the club. That's what we're going to do. Right, I'll make an offer. So he's telling me, I think previously he was telling me like 88, but 
I think that's too much. Negotiate, no deal. 69 is free. But I reckon more like 88, but that's a bit high for me, I think. So 88k, you think? 70, I might go for like 85k. See what happens. If not, we go for the Dulwich Flower. I'm not going to go 88, I'm going to go 85. Although his transfer value is 70. Um, but that won't be enough to sign him, he reckons. So obviously must be a pretty good player. Let's try 85. If it let us do 85, no? Right, 85, there we go. Believe what he wants us to go for 88 there. We're not going to be able to go 85k. Okay, so we're going to have to go. Oh no, what have we done here? No, oh, we're just in the fee, 85. Yeah, 84, 83, 82. Right, that's, that's what he's going. We've got to go with what he says, otherwise, you can't go either way. We can sort it out once we go further in. Right, we're going to suggest the terms and see how we go from here then now to this one. Finalise the offer for bringing them into the club. Anthony Fowden from the National League North have accepted our offer for Will James. So we've got him as a transfer offer is accepted. He's going to transfer to Maester, but then we've got to go through negotiations with the actual player himself. Time to negotiate, eh? <laughs> so his playing time, I reckon, is a hot prospect, which means he's going to have to play quite a lot. So if you like replacing Barham, if Barham gets injured or not fully fit, then we can do that. We can chop and change. Finalise the promise, playing time. Right, negotiations done. Jack, missed your last two chats. Sorry, I was looking through doing this here. Put them up again, bro, or put them on there. I've done I've missed them now. Right, the negotiations, preliminaries. Let's get into the detailed aspects of the contract. Right. So we're going full-time. 350 per week wages. I'm going to go 300 on it, which is what he's suggesting. Okay, acceptable offer. Transfer completed then, so Will James and Elvis Maidstone coming from AFC filed. Which is cushed here. Brand new player in. Right, Alec Greenwich unwilling to consider renewing his contract. This morning. Wish to inform you that I've been unable to proceed with renewing Reese Greenwich's contract. He was unwilling to enter into contract talks with us. He's only recently signed a new deal and he's not currently prepared to enter into contract discussions. However, he indicates this situation could change in the near future. So that's Greenwich gone out the window then, so, well. Yeah, you know, I've made some lost, yeah, not doing good, is it? We've won one game, I think, in four or five played. I can't remember how many. I've, I've, I've only been watching, I haven't been to any of them. Yeah, Balam, yeah, we're just try, trying to sort the whole game out now. Yo, man, welcome, <laughs> welcome everybody, anyway. We're trying out this football manager. I've had a go in the past on the PC, but um, it's a lot into it. And uh, once we get rock and roll in, um, we get go. Reese Greenwich has turned down a contract. We've just signed Will James in from AFC File and attacking midfielder to join the club. But it's a bit of a blow that Reese Greenwich not um, 
because we just played our first game before I came on tonight. We beat Maidstone Reserves four goals to one. No, Jack, I've not been to any of the friendlies. Um, I'm not doing any of the friendlies. Um, hopefully be ready to go like a couple of weeks' time, man. A home game slow. Right, it's trying to offer a new country, but I don't... It, he doesn't want one, does he? So... Right, so obviously he doesn't want to... Not prepared to enter into contract discussions. And, okay. Keep an eye out for that guy before the end of the season, huh? Yeah, it's still new for me as well, Bala, man. Right. So we've just done this guy, haven't we? Oh, so we should have saved it. That's what we didn't do then. Okay. Jaden, hello man, welcome. So we're going to have to save this once we've done then. Right, Will James we want then, don't we? Yeah, yeah, it's like you've got to save it, that's no. Porto just played, bloody hell Jaden, Cardiff, that's good then. 4-0. Oh, that's right. Oh, nice, man. That's kind of good on Cardiff. <laughs> right, open actions menu. Contracts. Oh, Braga as well. How are you doing? All right, though. Ramsey second half, that's cool. So what's this telling me here? I, I just don't know. Squad. Ah, oh, right. So he's, he's already with Maidstone, is he? Yeah, he's his Maidstone player. Move to senior squad, here we go. Right, now we can move on. Huh? Right, Reese Greenwich is done, next number read. I'm sure. Will James has agreed a deal to join the club, that's good. Transfer deal will now be completed, 88k reduction from the transfer budget, 105. Mason have confirmed the deal, okay. So, well. So we've got, we've got him in sighting the unprocessed who isn't far from first team level, we just put him into the first team. Um, Panorama National Standard, that's good. Oh, you've got Aaron Ramsey back to the club for Cardiff now. Right, here he is. So we've got a year's contract on him now, that's pretty cool, isn't it? Will James is in here in the video, yeah. Is he an official, was he official? Yeah, Man United Arsenal tonight and 10 o'clock kick off, yeah. Right, the recruitment department, huh, that we're going into. Okay, so it's all this stuff done. Scouting responsibility, transfer windows open. Gregory Ferreira Lino. Right, it looks all right. There was a recruitment focus handled by you. Tier 1. Letting the recruitment team is exactly the type of players you think will improve the squad even now or in the future. Wow, bloody hell, man, this is... 
when you create or change a focus, you can specify a number of recruitments to ensure that you recommend players that will be of interest to you. Group team will consider each focus when on the side they will recommend of any player that they believe fits your search criteria. Next, you can scout the club's database of players you own, transfer targets, size requests, scout reports for players, what do you want? A lot there to do in those. Let you take a, on with taking a deeper look into the recruitment department, maybe set a new focus to identify potential signings. No, Jaden, no. <laughs> All right, overview. Okay, so it's an over, overview that is recruitment focus. Wingers, we're looking more for like wing backs, maybe. Oh, did you get a cancelled it, Jane? What the hell, man? <laughs> That game Gate said one. I don't know what happened there. He was away, away to someone, Luke. Something happened there, no? So Greenish is gone, so we've, we've got to try and. Oh, these guys are 39 41. That's no good, is it? Jesus Christ. No, there's no good that their ages isn't. That's ridiculous. Don't want that sort of wages. This is this is tough, isn't it? Now now to get into all this. Oh, the hearse. That's it. Yeah, I did see it somewhere. Yeah, I drove on the pitch on it. Yeah. Responsibility, transfer windows open. Oh, player search, here we go. <sighs> don't know, I don't know where to start on this in a short list. Then we've got transfer news. Associations. Right. Uh, our new search. So we're looking for wing backs, really. Um, yeah, it was a bit crazy, wasn't it? The guy here, ball winning midfielder. We've got a midfielder we just brought in, haven't we? So. Nineteen, what's that in the terms of Mayembe? What's WNT stand for? Huh? So you have to bear with me everyone because this is flipping new to me, huh? Interested in Oh yeah, Zem Zambia, nineteen years old. Corners, crossing, dribbling, finishing, passing technique. It's flair. Acceleration, pretty good balance, jumping, natural fitness pace. 12, pretty strength's not so good, but maybe one club interest is scout. Can we scout player? Maybe we can. I 
ask the scouting pool to scout us and uh, despite the sun being within the scouting. Sadhu Khan from Swindon. Have a look. Um, two cats in Zambia. Uh -huh. Looking for a new club. It's okay, right? So let's. Um, Player search, okay, so how do you do a player search or oh, new search? Right, here we go. Sadhu Khan transfer player, where's the player name role? A Swindon, he said, and you know, he's got no club standard contract status. Any, we need to go to a Pacific club if we can. I don't know where. Go advanced on a minute. It's bloody crazy. This is. Player search, so we're on the short list. All right, let's go, let's go back up. Search. Attackers, middle defenders, goalkeepers. So it's Sadio Khan. He's forward, isn't he? Got players you can bring in a couple maybe in from the youth. Kieran Evans, yeah, we've got to watch the money side of things here at the moment. Right, I've got to suss this out quickly, so we're gonna. Continue on for a minute. Well, that's our new guy we just brought in. Will James from Alcy Fowl to make a new record purchase. Huh? Previous record was 6,000. Stuart King, Folkestone, 2012. <laughs> Right, club vision and expectations meeting, huh? Club's long term vision and outline our initial expectations for the season and years ahead. Three competitions, National League, FA Cup trophy. Strive to make progress on an off pitch, five year plan, work within the wage budget, and grow the club's reputation. We negotiate, what does it mean? Okay. 
set the current vision and it's going to there. Work within Major Grove Club's reputation, end of currency and avoid relegation from, from National Panorama National. <laughs> okay. Training grounds where we do all the work. Setting a trainer's focus places emphasis on a specific element of a program. Yeah, let the assistant manager get on and do all that stuff. So team, that's the team in it. Actions, right, increase or injury risk, Reagan booty mode. Would be an excellent sign of a go though. Attack midfield right, which is good. We can play him on the right wing as well. Striker central, another one. So his prize of versatility, international experience, second country region, cons, bravery, intelligence, competitive streak. Scout report on him at the moment. Right, here we go. Question from the pipe Does it feel to be the new Maidstone manager? We'll find one of the right questions now, bloody hell, man. Positive could be the first one, couldn't it? I'm more than excited, it feels good to be here. I'll go for that one, see what happens there. Okay. Sit here alongside new signing Will James from AFC File. Are you pleased? You've got your man. All confidence undecided. Huh? Oh, George Alakobi is distant manager. <laughs> Can let all them deal with the 
rec oh, the recruitment need to do himself. Transfers of contracts, player contract discussion. Staff recruitment, they can do that. So recruitment, yeah, I'm going to do that myself. Uh, recruitment focus responsible. Going transfers, incoming transfers, player contracts. First team, they can do that. Yeah, operation, opposition instructions. Okay. Below average squad, one or two players are close to being ready for first team. Few players are demonstrating promising potential. Fortunately, reality is that this is a rather mediocre development squad. He's in the reserves at the moment, Tom Hanlon. You've got Yusuf Mersin, I think, is a backup keeper to Dan Barden. Tom had that actions and <sighs> squad transfer was his contracts. Available reserves move to affiliate training. Can move to the senior squad. Then we could maybe sell. He's immersing on sale. Got Dan Barden at the moment. In goal. There's a lot into this one, isn't it? Oh, Gavin Hoyt still has a new two-year contract. That's good news, isn't it? It's good stuff. Passing on once all their contracts of 28, most suppliers are either due to expire in the next 12 months or may have already expired. Most notable include Sam Bowen and Mark Marshall. Players under 24 have reached the end of their contract and not been offered new deals of great size can move elsewhere for no compensation. So it's June 2023, she's so still recently signed a current contract, recently signed one year extension clause during Ben and Williams delaying his decision. Marshall, I think I'm going to let him release him actually. Uh, 
we're going to put him on the transfer. Mark Marshall. Off and out to clubs today. Jaden, yeah, man. <laughs> Asking for no fee, you want a fee, don't we? Bloody hell. I'm just going to let him go on a free. It's ridiculous, isn't it? So, what's his value? One and a half K. So, we're going to put him up at one and a half, isn't it? Here we go. Here we go. Here we go, like so okay. Transfer list and set player surplus to requirements. Yeah, Luke Ace, uh in this one he is, yeah, but he's actually gone to Worthing. He's been released to Worthing Town in National League South, real life. He's currently with them, he's signed a deal with them at the moment. So yeah, not with Maidstone anymore. Maidstone released him there. Real life. But he is in here, but he's not, he's still out injured. According, according to this game, I don't think he's back until like the January time. Transfer list. Offer to clubs. Here we go then. Yep. Okay, so he's gone out. Sam Bone contract offered. Yeah, Jaden, definitely. Whether he can recover from his injury, so that's, that's the other thing. The problem. A fantastic player before he got brought down at Dartford away, just before the end of the National League South. To me, he was running off the pitch and the bloody Dartford player pushed him. That's when he went over down the thing and done his ankle and ligaments and stuff, knee. So if he hadn't been pushed, I think it would probably have been okay. So yeah, the blame was originally, I think, goes back to that Dartford player, whoever it was, pushed, pushed him. Sam Bone contract offer, that's good. Jerome Bean and Williams delaying decision. That's it at the moment. Okay. Seven to two for us to go down there. Due to the step up in class of opposition. <laughs> so there's the odds then, lot of Wrexham favourites, 1 to 20. Notts County, Chesterfield, Woking, Bromley, Solihull, Bournemouth, Oldham, Barnet now. Dawkin, all 25 to 1 to Gates Egg. South End, Scunthorpe, all the shot, 33 to 1. 50s to 1, Dagenham, Redbridge, Halifax, Altrinham, E. Oval, York Eastley, Maidstone, Torquay, Wildstone, Maidenhead, 150 to 1. <laughs> this guy here, A+. Plus.
top goal scoring odds. Ali, 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 oh, Maidstone FC, Black and Amber Army. Right, we've run so much stuff here running through. Let's, um, friendlies coming up. I've got the Maidstone one coming up with Southampton reserves up to Gallagher. Team selection. So that's how we've, we're set up. Um, so that's the formations. I'm playing like a five, double one, three with wing backs. So you've got Dan Barden in goal. Then you've got Fowler, Greenidge, um, Gavin Hoyt. And then you've got Ryan Galvin, Regan Booty, Sam Bone, Sam Corn in the midfield dead. And Ron Jell Smith out on the left wing. Deacon on right wing and then Barham up front. We did a 4-1 win over Maidstone Reserves. Mentality, I think, I believe we were positive on that one. Keep staying at mentality positive, so everything's there. Set. Um, so the only thing I've got to do is. We've got a new player, I presume. Is he on the bench? That's the thing. We've got no one to put in there, so where is this new? New player, the golden end that we got. Overview, oh, right on a minute. Team selection. All right, so we're going to go. Tough. Um, Navigation, right, here we go. Oh, man. All right, let's get into the squad. So with Dan Barden, this is how we're set up at the moment, and it George Fowler Sambo Ring. So there you there are eleven and eight reserves as well. So here's the whole squad. Luke is still out injured. Will James, the new guy, just come in. Jerome Bill and Williams injured, Raph Brown injured, Tom Hadler. So I'm going to bring Tom Hadler in, swap him with Yusuf Mercy. to go and check in there. So in a minute. Oh, he's transfer listed anyway, so. Transfer listed, it says on there. So, okay, so to go back into the squad, uh, Tom had a laugh.
they are. Okay, just abusive mercenaries on the list. Marshall's on the list, so he's got to come out. Um, so you can bring Mark Marshall out and put Will James in where Mark Marshall is. We are gradually getting used to this. Huh? Okay, so a new signing from LC File, Will James comes in. Um, Christy Patterson's on the list as well, look. So Christy Patterson, we're going to bring in to Sean Waters there now. Is there anyone else down that list? No. To Sean Waters for Christy Patterson. Okay. Right, let's go R2 then. So we should have it up here. Here we go. Yeah, look. So we've got the correct players on there. So now we've got Tom Hadler on the bench. There's a backup keeper, Birish Garung, Tishon Waters, Cowardy Gandor, Johnny Bero, Josh Johnny Bero, Josh Wally, James Alabi, Henry Woods. Will James, a new sign in. Okay, so so James could maybe come on for Sam Corn at some stage and go into centre mid. As they seal the hearts on there are the ones that tells you how well fit they are. The green hearts they go down to orange and then red during the game. So this is how I started with Maidstone Reserves. You had Juan Jail Smith, Barham Deacon, Corn. Ryan Galvin, Booty, Bone, Hoyt, Greenish, Fowler and Barden. That's how I started off on the last one and that's how I'm going to start on this one. Um, is that the same? Why change it if it's working? So, Mason United at the Gallagher, at home to Southampton Reserves in the friendly. Team selection. 10 substitutes from a possible 15 proceed to match, yeah. Because the others are injured. Some are out now. Actually, if they're transfer listed, do you still put players in that are transfer listed? I expect it's 10, 12. You can put them all in there, maybe. I don't know. Let's go back 10 and 12 to 15, isn't it? Going at ten. There's only more thingy to go in there anyway, isn't there, Marshall? Going at twelve, is it? Okay, so it's sorted. We get gradually getting the hang of this. So that's our lineup then. We we had this exact same lineup, we beat Maidstone Reserves four goals to one, which is expected at the Gallagher. A week later we're now that was, game was played before I come online actually. So now we've got Southampton reserves, a bit more of a tougher challenge at the Gallagher. And that's our starting 11. We've got all the subs there on the bench as well that you can see on the right. All green hearts, all fit. And there's stars next to it. How good they are. So let's get into the match. See how we go. Proceed to match. Team selection has all been done. Teams are warming up. Let's get rolling. Maidstone at home to Southampton Reserves. This is the official team sheet. Greenish should not be playing friendlies. Or maybe not because he didn't want to sign a contract. But I can always bring him off anyway if need be. But it's a shame we don't want to. So we're looking for another defender really to come in to replace Greenish. So there's our lineup, all the reserves there are. Probably Mercy and Patterson and Marshall probably won't play because they're all in the transfer listed. 
Suddenly, Henry Woods a lobby just Raleigh, just Johnny Bear, Harley Gandor, Walters, Garung, Tom Hadler, and Southampton. Let's have a look at them then. So they were the first team players in that. I don't know, I don't recognise any. Some of you might know. Theo Walcott in now, yeah. Samuel Dozy. James Bray rings a bell. Uh, oh yeah. So yeah, gonna be so let's get into this kickoff. Teams are out. We've got no music on the game or whatever because obviously that would go on um thingy on YouTube, wouldn't it? Playing the wrong music now. Got it 15 minutes in already, nil nil. Huh? So Southampton with the ball now. Deacon, old Borum got the pitch. No, can't get it now. George Fowler in there as well. Yeah. Watch out, snip out to Deacon. Here we go. Look, playing some nice footy. Always gives it away though. Come on, he's going for the middle. Oh, good stop from Barden. Barden. Oh, look, it's through, no way. Sikumara. Sis from Alex McCarthy. That's It's a replay of it, yeah. He couldn't do much for Barden on his own, can he? Might have to bring Greenish off at half time. Because he's not, not wanted to sign a contract, a player we don't really want. The trouble is, you do this sometimes, then it can send the players the wrong way. Tactics and stuff, Greenish. It's a good story, but he's, he's got a. He's not willing to sign a contract, so. So, who have we got that we can probably bring in? Uh, Who's going to midfield, aren't he? Let's quickly have a look on. His best role was attacking midfield right wing. Don't really have much. Yeah, we're just one 0 down to Savanta at the moment. We're just gonna So the only one is Marshall really, but he's on he's on the transfer list as well. 
Um, Tuck in midfield. Oh, it's a new guy, isn't it? Yeah. Travella Green is white. Um, yeah, yeah, we do. Just thought we'd made stand back for a bit. Um, just trying to sort this defence. He's attacking right winger. Zip. You're no good to cover Greenwich though, will he? He's going to have to stay on. <laughs> yeah, good, good, Mo Ballum, yeah. This is a lot more slower, isn't it? A lot more technical, if you know what I mean. So it's a lot of free kick as well. Yeah. Oh, off the crossbar, look. Oh. Oh, off the crossbar then, uh, Southampton. We're into the second half, isn't it? XG is not good, is it? So, hold on a minute. So, right, so let's. So over here we're going to face right wing. Okay, it's just Shani Bear gonna come on then for Deacon. Bones okay, oh, it's a bit worn out Greenage. It's got, just got no one there that can cover. Gotta take Greenage off and bring wrong now. I had a mess there, haven't I? Huh? Right, um... Let's 
the horror needs to come off, doesn't he? To bar them off and put on um, Gandor, James, let's bring James on. So I see three and a half of corn. The booty there, corn could come off. Let's take off Sam Corn and bring on this new player and that. See how we go. See how we go now. We just swaps it a little bit. So that new player would just sign James in now. So I've got three new ones up front. I've still got a bit of a at the struggle at the back, so we're gonna to have to find a sign a new um couple of new defenders, I think. Definite. Okay, so that's, that was sorted. So this, no. I'll confirm changes. Triangle. Here we go then. Eight minutes in. We've had a few changes to see how it goes. And oh, just over the net. Reagan Booty, Luke. Yeah. Oh, he's gone to you. Did he come to you? This is a, oh, another corner, look. Oh, good stop, right, come on. One Jail Smith back there to help out. No, we're not there, is there? Now we're livening up a bit. Oh, I just couldn't quite get the ball through then, up the wing. Struggling to get back now. Will James back there to, like, cut out that striker now? Bivish Gurung for George Fowler now. Oh, he's done there. Yeah. Bivish Gurung's in the wrong positions, really, though, so we've got, we've got the wrong. Oh, penalty, no way. 2 0. Weren't expecting to beat Southampton anyway, but Theo Walcott now. <laughs> 2 0 Southampton. Oh, I went under the body of Barton, look at that. Oh, that went up there though, look. That keeper coming out there. Oh, James, a new guy. Oh, it just puts it wide. It's been good we've got one back then. Place him in the woods. So... Someone else that could stick out there, too sure. 
Oh, just by her now, that wing backs. Yes, yeah, so we're going to need a couple of defenders in. Huh? Pop a right wing back. Centre back. So I'm going to have to do some searching. We'll, we'll do this game and then do some searching up on the thing. The old booty in defence if you want to use him as a backer. That's cool, then. Is he playing? He's obviously playing well for you, then. Huh? Not really had a look in on this game. It all started off well against Maidstone Reserves, but it's only 2 0 though, I suppose, against Southampton Reserves. And it's like the ball had gone out there. Oh, just over. I in real life, yeah, Luke, yeah. <laughs> Oh, look at that, nice. Come on. Oh, yes, come on. One John Smith, one assist from Reagan Booty. 2 1, 89th minute. Can't be too bad against stuff out to reserves, is it? Plus four minutes added on. Come on, boys. Corner to sound to reserves. All time, two one loss. Ain't too bad. Uh, work okay, Luke. Yeah, busy man. He all loaded and ready for Monday. Uh. The two one ain't too sad, I suppose. I can stuff out some reserves, considering um, Theo Walcott playing and co. What's the actions thing? No available actions. So we'll, we'll do this one anyway, six days. So have a Maidstone friendly. And then that's the last friendly before we head into the National League, White Orchardham. Got to try and get into this uh, inbox. Things done. No club considers a deal for Mark Marshall viable. Huh? So Mason are kind of stuck with him, isn't it? Okay, so he's going to have to go on a free, then, not he? No, our way game's planned for Maidstone. We've got a Yeovil coming up in back end of August, the way. Um, beginning of September, I believe it was Western Super Mirror Way, I think, beginning of September. But I met a, a rock concert, a punk rock concert in uh, London. So I won't be able to do that one. Um, a Saturday, 2nd September, I think that's the same day Mason at Western, so one I won't be able to get to now. I 
I don't know how the, how the season's really going to go at the moment, really, considering, like, we've only scored a couple of goals in a few games, and then I don't know how... Well, the pre-season friendlies haven't gone down well, so I really don't know. We'll have to wait in another couple of weeks, see how it builds up a bit more. Right, so... I don't think we'll make playoffs, Luke, really tell you the truth. The National League squad we've got now, I don't think is as strong as the one we had two seasons ago. We've got rid of some good players as well, we've not replaced them. So, for me, I don't think we're good enough or will make the playoffs. So, but could be wrong, who knows, but I think I, I did my prediction thing. I think I put us as ninth. So that's why I reckon we'd probably end up somewhere around the area this season. See whether George stays as manager um, and see what goes from there. Particularly don't want to bounce back to National League anyway, the way that way it is at the moment. Definitely, We definitely haven't got a strong enough squad for National League now. It's not, as, not even as strong as it was last season. So and we've got less players. So we just have to see how it goes, and uh, right, let's go to inbox. We have got to go into thing is it to try and find ah oh, right the odds <laughs> three on reds. I see injury updates for Maidstone. Jerome Ben and Williams, torn ankle ligaments, three to five months. Luke is seven to eight months. He's been out for three so far. So three, another five months, yes, yeah, so it's sort of January-ish time. Raph Brown's still out. He's been out for four months, so he's got another two to four months to go. And we don't know yet when Ben and Williams is due back. Oh, Reagan Boot is injured now. Oh, my days. I was only out for one to two days. Injured after turning sharp there. It's not good, is it? Suffered a tight hamstring after twisting sharply during the training session. Great. That's all we need, isn't it? Um, so development centre. Are these all out on the other youth? Youth doing quite well. Um, Josh Arnold is like a pretty good 17 year old, might be one that we can bring in. Still keeping them in the young in the thing is at the moment though. No one ready for thingy, so Just figure out how we're getting into Contracts, a home manager profile, my contract promises. How we're getting into the transfers and stuff. Staff training schedule, copies of recruitment. Um, 
your defense center defense center is on your left so we need to go there for a loan age between say 19 25 let's go Luke, no, I never didn't go to Horsham one. That was terrible. I lost two 0 no? <laughs> The only game we've won so far was a one 0 home win. The first one at home to Sheppey United one 0 and they're two levels below us. All the other ones have been draw and losses. So nil nil with Chatham. They're one division below. Lost two one at Bromley. They're a league above. Horsham, I don't know how many. They're a couple of levels below us, I think. Lost two nil. So it's, it hasn't looked good, no. Oh shit! I could go back into that. Right, that's that sorted. Back left. Got Ryan Galvin at the moment, the defensive centre to me. Uh, defence centre. Back left. So we have got a couple of defence centres maybe in like the goalkeepers go for. So Ongoing transfer and loan. Age. Let's go to know nineteen to twenty six or seven though. Twenty seven. Okay. Confirms. That's what we're looking for, anyway. A, a wide back left, like a wing back left, wing back right. A couple of defensive mid centres. Goalkeeper. Um, let's go. Also, Another strike, a central. Field right. Okay. Do all this again now. Oh, for fuck's sake. Ah, oh, this is crazy, yeah. Huh? Wing back right. A couple of defensive centres. We need 
whole bunch of stuff really. I think we can manage with the goalkeepers that we've got. Um, okay, so that'll have to do there. Ages going 18, didn't we say? Go 18, go up to 27. Right, confirm. Okay. So let's have a recruitment focus set. Prepare for the way soon as well. Hopefully, um, booty's back now. Matches found it on recruitment. Right, Wagon boot his back, his fit. So, Barden Reese Green is, yeah, yeah, good place then. Ryan Gowan's a wing back, Sam Bone, Corn, Gavin Hoyt. So we haven't got much at the back to cover. Let's put, um, let's bring Deacon off and put in Josh. Oh, CDM role, yeah, yeah. So I've got no CDMs in this game, but. So for Deacon, I'm going to bring in and put in Josh Shunnipel. It's bar is the right position, so yeah. It's quite. So no nonsense fall back in it. So what would happen if we changed four and two and a half? So bone height just drops down, doesn't he? Bone still four. Don't um, it's no good, I think we need to put him back because Corn booty girl in this corn. So we have a white area for it coming up. Um, James. Could maybe put James maybe in the sort of same corner. I don't know how that. Can we try that? Let's have a look. Don't 
don't know how that if that's going to work. Could work. I can always bring Sam Corn on if we need to. Don't know. Would. See how that goes anyway, I'll start James and see how if not we'll take James off. Maybe he's good though coming on. That's it. Maybe try that. Got all areas covered in the way. Or does Sam Corn go? That's too far across there, isn't it? Don't know though. No, that's all areas covered in it. There's three there. No, it's still three there, so. <laughs> it's all right, that's how we're setting up then for this one. We'll give um, Tom Hadler a run with Dan Bard and see how we, how we go anyway, and then. set yeah so I'm gonna go all into that now do your position to set up as a four four two right we're gonna play see how we go Last one before we come off. Huh? <laughs> First away game, we see Greenwich is in there, so we still need defenders in. So not someone with a pick, but we've got no one else really to put in there. We need, maybe need to bring, well, we've got no youth of quality. So midfielders and forwards, that's, that's the problem with Maidstone. Uh, okay, see how we go. Two minutes, everyone.
seen that earlier. That was close there where they come off the bar and stuff. Oh, earlier on with Maidstone. I didn't know how that never went in. Half time, nil nil. Greenies is doing quite good there. Look, he's playing with a better, one of the better players, isn't it? They keep playing him, or he might might want to have a contract, you know what I mean? So, so we're half time. Um, let's, let's bring on Tom Hadler. Let's give him a run because otherwise, we're not going to. So Tom Hadler coming out. Everyone else is going to stay the same, I think, for the moment. Yeah, so yeah, we've done this set ready to go. Go on, mate, we just need to get going. Be nice to finish with a win. Oh no, it's through. Oh, just wide. Wow. That's defence. It's definitely needed some defenders in. Let's get rid of a couple of midfielders. And so while I'm coming off after this, I'm going to put two Sean Waters, there's Josh Riley, um, get some players released. And then. What about bringing a couple of defenders? Oh, what a goal from Reagan Booty. Oh, did you see that? What a free kick. Wow. What a strike from the free kick. Wow, get in there, Booty. Come on, you beauty. Look at that. What a goal. <laughs> Fantastic goal there. Hereford nil, Maidstone 1, 66 in. Needs changing, does he? Bibish Garong, I'm going to have a quick look I'm just gonna go by what they've said um, yeah he's quite down isn't he so maybe Bivish Garang is the only midfielder really that we can bring in there. Who are we changing with to be saved? Oh, Bivish Karong, yeah. So Jack Barham looks a bit worn out, doesn't he, as well, so... Can't really do much in defence. Have to stay as it is. Uh, let's bring on... Jack Barham, let's, let's bring on... Um, Let's actually give Josh Riley a, a run out and see how he does. Not the sign that it's fantastic, but see what happens. And then for Sam Corn, can maybe move that about a bit and bring in that. Um, James, and that's the one we wanted. And then move him to a position suited in it. Does that leave us open a bit at the back? I don't know, but we'll see how we go. Right, can we hold on to a 1 0? What 
be good going into the league season with a win. Around Galvin. So Ryan Galvin comes off. Um, Bill and Roy take another. That's what we've got it. We've got it. Yes, look at that. One nil win of White Hair for you. That was good stuff now. So Queen is doing quite well now considering he doesn't want to <laughs> redo another contract now. So yeah, that was good. That was great strike from the free kick for Reagan Booty. Come on. Right folks, thanks for watching. Um, it's been a bit of a long process. But we'll catch you tomorrow, I guess, maybe with FIFA. Take care, have a good one. We'll see you soon. Peace.